Let's solve these questions very quickly, very quickly. They are not difficult. Eh? It, may, it may appear difficult, but it's very easy. All right, this is part one of this lesson. All right, let's go. So now, this is log reading. I'm going to solve it there. Log base 2. Log x plus 4 base 2 minus log x minus 2 base 2 equal to 2. So I will solve it there. So after solve, all right, let's go like this. So we have log, log what? Uh, x. Now when you have minus, it means division. So we can have log base 2. Minus means this divided by this. If it is plus, it means this times this. So it depends on how it will be given to you. All right, so we have x plus 4 over x minus 2. Put it in bracket like this. It's equal to these two here. Means, because it's base 2 here, you have log 2 base 2. You know, log of e log 2 base 2 is 1. So that's why we are presenting it like this. Okay, let me assume you have 3 here. What you're supposed going to write here is what? Log 3 base 3. But because what you have here is 2. So you have to write the log of this base. 2 base 2. So if this will give you, this, will, this gives us log 2 x plus 4 over x minus 2 is equal to this 2 comes here. Log 2 raised to power 2 base 2. I hope you got that. This 2 comes here. So that now you can have log 2 cancel log 2. Because there is no plus or minus any other thing here. So what we have now is finally x plus 4 over x minus 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 means 2 times 2. That is what? 4. What you are going to do now, we cross multiply. 4 times all these. So 4 times x minus 2 is equal to x plus 4. Right? So now, open this bracket. 4 times x, 4x, four, 4 times minus 2, minus 8 equal to what? x plus 4. What do we do now? We collect like terms. 8 comes here. So 4x, x coming here becomes minus x. 4 remains here. Minus 8 coming becomes what? Plus 8. 4x minus x is what? 3x. 4 plus 8 is what? 12. We have finished this almost. So we divide both sides by 3. Divide this by 3. Divide by 3. Alright. So finally, x. 12 divided by 3. 4. x is 4 here. So 4 plus 4, 8. 4 minus this one, 2. So if you, if you apply it, if you, if you apply it and solve it, you will surely get 2. So this is it. So number 1 is solved. Let's clean the board and solve this number two question. All right, so this one is done. So we'll move to the next one. We we'll clean the board quickly. Please don't forget to share this video. There are many other students that need to learn this. All right. So now, cost 30. So something like this, what we need to do? 30, 60, 45. Use perfect ratio. Accurate angles. Now look at this. So we are going to do something like this. This one is for angle 30 and 60. This is 30. This is 60. Okay, let me do it. Let me give it to you like this so that you understand what. You have an equilateral triangle like this. So this place is 60. 60, 60, 2, 2, 2. So if we divide this by 2, here it becomes 60 divided by 2, 30, 30, still 60. Then as we have divided it by 2, this place will give us 1, 1. We need to get this side. So if we want to get this side, let me just use one side of this. Look at this. Now. Let me use this side. This is... 30, 60, 2, 1. We can find here. We use Pythagoras. The longest side, 2 square equal to 1 square. Call this place x. 
plus x squared. 2 squared is what? 4. 1 squared, 1 plus x squared. So x squared is plus minus, is 4 minus 1. x squared, 4 minus 1, 3. 4 minus 1, 3. So x is plus minus what? Root 3. To remove this to part 2. Root square root 3. Remove this to part 2. Which means this place is now what? Root 3. So having gotten this one, permit me to clean this. So that we can have enough space to solve the question. Alright. So the one of um, 45. Because of our time, let's just, this place is 45. This is also 45. This is root 2, 1, 1. I don't, let's, let's just use this like this. I decided to derive this one. But this one, this is how this one applies. So now, let's solve this thing. So we have 30, 60, 45. We have 30, 60, 45. So we are going to use this and this. All right. So we are going to apply so ka toa. So ka toa, opposite of hypotenuse. Why do we apply so ka toa? Because we have right angle. It's right angle triangle. Eh? If we don't have right angle triangle, a triangle like this, something like this is not right angle. There is no right angle triangle. You can only use sine and cosine rule because there's no right angle. You can use sine and cosine rule. Okay, I will teach you that in our next class. All right. So what we are going to do now? Now, so let's apply so katoa. Now, sine opposite. So what we have is what? Cos thirty tan sixty over sine forty five. What is cosine thirty? Cos adjacent over I see 30, see the adjacent root 3, hypotenuse 2. So root 3 over 2. Me, this is times tan 60. Tan opposite of adjacent, opposite root 3. Adjacent is 1. Divided by, let's do it like this. Divided by uh -huh, sine 45. Sine opposite of hypotenuse. What is opposite? Opposite 1. Hypotenuse root 2. 1 over root 2. I've almost finished this as well. So, root 3 times root 3 is root 9 over 2. Over 2 times 1, 2. Divided by 1 over root. Okay, let's change this thing to times. This one to times right away. Times. When you are changing to times, 2 root 2 will come up. 1 comes down. So, root 2 over 1. Square root of 9 is what? 3. Divided by 2 times root 2 over 1. There's no other thing. So 3 times root 2 is what? Is our, let's write our answer here. 3 times root 2 is what? 3 root 2. 2 times 1. 2. This is the answer. So you have solved it. Please be careful. This is not the same. See? If you write it like this, it's wrong. So this is 3, write the root, write it outside this root. This means a different, a different thing. Eh? Eh? It means cube root. Cube root of 2, this is wrong. So don't write, like, write it like this. I've observed, many students, what do you, you don't have to write, this means a different thing. If you have something like this, 3, cube root of 8, the answer is 2. It's, not, it's different from 3 root 8. This means 3 times root 8. Can you see it? So please be careful. Don't write it wrongly. Alright, permit us to clean the board. I hope you are following. Share this video, like it, make comments, ask questions. So we'll go to number 3. Very quickly. Alright. The cost of running a business is partly constant and partly varies as the branches. When the cost of is 10 million, the branches are 2. Find the cost when the branches are 5. Okay, let's complete this question. If it takes, if it costs um, 12 million, 12 million naira to run 3 branches. Let's solve this question like this now. So this is, okay. Let's solve this question like this. So what we are looking for, this is a partial variation. In partial variation, you have something, you have a simultaneous equation. 
So this is a bit more complex than direct variation, inverse variation, and joint variation. If you want me to teach those ones, you can make that. You can make comments, please. Direct variation, joint variation, and the uh, uh, inverse variation. But this one, let's solve this one. This one is a bit more difficult than the other uh, variations. So now we use. So the cost of running a business is partly constant and partly varies. So we are going to have two constants. So our two constants are C and what? K. So now let's let let the cost let the cost be what given A and uh, let the the branches and branches be what B let branch let the cost be A and branches B all right let branches B and branches let the branches be B now let's stop this thing like this so the cost of running it is partly constant. And partly varies as what well, branches. So A equal to C plus K B. In partial variation, I said there are two constants C and K. You can use other letters anyway. Let's this this it's better to use it like this. Alright. So now when you see when A is 10 million, B is this is what you are looking for. So you are not going to touch this now. Go to the next one. 12 million, three, three branches. When A is 12 million, B is what? Three. So let's apply this to this. If we apply it, we are get, we are, we will get something simultaneous. So now this is the relationship between A and B. The branches and so let's fix, fix this thing now. So we have A, 10, C equal to, we don't know C plus B is what? 2. So call it 2K. B is 2. 2 times K, 2K. Okay, again, A is 12. Equal to C plus B now is 3. So 3K. Use the elimination method. Use the elimination method. So we can say this minus this, 2. This minus this, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. That is so look at it. So our k is equal to two. We have found our k. So we can find our c. So we can use this is equation one, and this is equation two. So we can use this equation one to find k. Oh yeah. Now k is to fix it there. Ten using equation one. Using equation one. So ten is equal to c plus two times two. 2 times 2, 4. 10 equal to C plus 4. So C equal to 10 minus 4. C equal to 6. So we have gotten our C and K. Now we'll proceed. The question, let me finish it here. The question says, find the cost, cost when the branches are 5. So we are looking for A now. So it now says, when B equal to 5. Okay, we can use equation 2 or equation 1, any one. We can use, okay, this is the relationship, rather. This is what we are going to use. Alright, let's go. So, A is equal to C is 6 plus K. Our K is 2. 2, you know, B now is 5. So, C is equal to 2 times 5, 10. 6 plus 10, 16. So the cost is how much? 16 million. Can you imagine? Ordinarily, many students should say as 10 is 2. Then 5 may be... It may, okay, 1 is 5. 5 may be 25 million. You can see that it's not the same. We have got to 16 million in Naira. Alright. So we are going... This is just part 1. We are going to take part 2 and part three that will complete it so please do join us subscribe share the video thank you very much mr primus